Thank you for tuning in to Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Uh, today what I have in front of you here is a Soundstream Rubicon 2500.1D uh, which I rebuilt the drive card on and you can find that video here in the upper corner. So I do have the card installed as you can see here and um, I'm just going to change views here for you real quick. This is how I have the transistors laid out to help dissipate the heat. Um, as I noted in the previous video, video, this card runs extremely hot. So these transistors, I just kind of help spread off the board, spread apart, get some, uh, get some airflow going through those. Even though this board's going to be upside down, heat rises. Uh, but it, you'll get some air going in through these between these transistors. So uh, today's video, I just wanted to go over the output section of this board. Uh, this is all assuming that you have a good power supply going, that you do have good rail voltage being built. Uh, so I'm not going to go over anything from your drive transistors back to the power supply. So this is just assuming that your power supply is good. This is, we're going to talk about today is just from your power supply forward. Uh, just the the basics on what to look for on these 2500s that is pretty important when you end up getting lost in the repair of these things. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of start from the input side back and I'm going to make a brief note here that if you ever have a short, a direct short between your positive and negative 15 volt voltage regulators and you happen to lose like for instance uh, when I soldered this board in I had a I had a solder bridge on the plus minus 15 volts on the card here and this capacitor literally blew off the board uh, so it shorted out the uh, the JRC the 4558 over here U5 uh, so I didn't have any input signal going to the drive card. So if you ever do short out that plus or minus 15 volts, I would check U5 here. Um, on the thermal camera, you'll see it gets extremely warm when you power it up if you don't have any drive on pin 1 of your card here. So I do have um, output transistors installed on the low side drive and on the high side drive. So, I'm going to briefly fire the board up and show you uh, what you can expect on these boards. Uh, so just to note that this via right here, that's next to U7, is your on signal. That via, when you have your scope here, that via will get driven to ground you'll see the scope on the upper left hand corner there for you. I'm going to apply the voltage here. You'll see it rise and then it'll drop back down to zero. And then just to double check to see that you guys got that on the scope. It'll rise and then it'll drop back down to zero. This will not generate output if this via going to your on pin does not go to ground. Which this is coming back from U9. So as long as you have an understanding of optocouplers or opto isolators, however you like to see these, uh, you'll understand that this pin functions uh, by going to ground, which gives it the on signal. So you, what you'll do is you will see a square wave on pin one of this IC on the drive card. Now I switched this IC to a TL072. Uh, As I had mentioned previously in the video, I do believe that's what I do on these is I switch into a TL072. So, so what you'll do is you'll see Pin one of that TL072 
turn into a square to a triangle. Uh, to a modulated triangle, I should say, um, when it gets the on signal. So as long as you have signal coming in on pin 1, which is coming from your preamp section, and you get that square wave to a modulated triangle wave on pin 1 of the TL072 on the drive card, you will see that you get output drive You'll see that you get your drive on your output transistors. So there's your output drive on the output transistor on your high side. So I can't run this for very long. I don't want my output transistors to go into thermal runaway because the uh, high side does get a little warm. So I stay real cautious uh, when I'm testing these amplifiers outside the heat sink. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh show you the output signal. So I have a 50 hertz signal um, at roughly 3 volts going into the uh, preamp. And then I'll show you the output drive signal for this 2500. So there you can see the output drive signal right at 50 hertz. So just to recap on this, check for your input signal coming from your preamp on pin 1 with the card removed. If, uh, take, I would take the drive card out and verify that you have your input signal on pin 1, verify that you have your plus minus 15 volts, and verify that you have your on signal again that goes to ground um, after the initial power supply startup and then make sure you have your plus and minus rail voltage your audio ground and your power ground if you have all those voltages present on this card which typically they're labeled right here in the back as long as you have those voltages present and you've rebuilt this card properly you can reinstall the card you don't have to have your output transistors in and you should be able to see your uh, negative drive and you should see your positive drive on the gate pads of the output transistors you should see both those drives if you see high side drive but you don't see low side drive then you still have a problem with your drive card Again, the values of these drive cards um, and the transistor types are on the previous video that I made for you. Um, and again, if you have any questions about this card, please feel free to let me know. Hit me up, email me, message me down below or directly uh, through my website, ellensburgamplifier.com. And I'd be more than happy to help the best I can. Um, sometimes I do ask you to email me directly, uh, just depends on the situation that you have on the amplifier that you're working on. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it for this board. Um, you will see R66 here. This is common, again, on these Rubicon 2500s, that it does get extremely hot. Some boards I will take R66 here and I will upgrade that to a higher wattage resistor. It just depends on what the customer uh, requests to do with this. Because like I said, it does get hot and it may swing value just a little bit, but this does drop a ton of voltage across it. So, um, Otherwise, uh, again, that's the, pretty much the layout of the output of these boards. Um, I would always double check to make sure that if you have drive without the transistors but then you install the output transistors and then you start having shorts, I would check your output inductors. Notorious for shorting on these output inductors. Um, again, these run hot. If you can get some uh, fan mounted somewhere in here to get some air moving across this, it may help the longevity of your drive on these 2500s. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe uh, if you like this content. Um, 
and suggestions on any amplifiers you'd like to see, um, any styles, class A, B, class D, uh, just let me know. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.